If I knew everything I knew now about running a business in my 20s, I'd probably be a billionaire. <laughs> just kidding. I'd probably just save a lot of headache and stress. So today I'm going to share with you everything I've learned in the past 22 years of being alive related to starting a business. What the fuck does this girl know about entrepreneurship? Well, let me tell you. I was one of those people that sold lemonade on the side of a road at like nine years old just to make a little bit of cash. Didn't grow up with a lot of money. I've been a content creator ever since I was literally 10, selling products on Amazon and eBay, doing drop shipping before it was a thing. And most recently, I've been running an agency called X8 Media where I work with brands and do consulting uh, related to creative marketing. That was quite a mouthful and I just want to share everything I've learned, okay? All right, the first piece of advice that I've learned is to learn to be scrappy. It's okay to not have a lot to work with. And that's something that I didn't know when I was starting. I thought you had to have a lot of money, a lot of connections, and I felt really embarrassed with my lack of experience and resources. Like I said, I didn't grow up with a lot of money. Going to doctor's appointments was really, really hard at the time for my family. So I just felt like, I was out of luck. But the good thing is I was extremely scrappy. I remember my first instance of being scrappy was building dollhouses out of cardboard boxes because we couldn't afford real dollhouses. And I remember just like learning to make shit out of literally nothing. And this is a skill I didn't realize that was so helpful relating to entrepreneurship. You know, I think a lot of the times when you're starting a business, whether it's a cosmetic brand or like launching a podcast or even just a social media account, you don't need the best camera. You can literally use your iPhone. If you're launching a product business, make a really dingy version of it so you can show people right and then and once you have money you can invest into your brand and make it cooler but at the beginning it doesn't need to be good like especially when it comes to logo design or like anything like that like you can learn how to do photoshop you can learn these things you don't need to hire people off the bat unless you're a nepo baby and you have coin but of course we don't we don't all have that so just learn to be scrappy and it's okay if it looks like shit a lot of people judge their first product whether it's their first youtube video or your first client you get and it's okay if in the beginning it's messy just be scrappy with it you know get started and learn to get down and dirty <laughs> okay my next tip is to be early even if people say it's stupid. Let me tell you guys a little story, okay? <laughs> when I first started YouTube, this was back in 2009, it was weird to be posting content, okay? No one thought you could make money at the time. There was really no AdSense. The largest creators at the time were Michelle Fawn, Ryan Higa, and I remembered like, at that time in 2009, it was weird to even consider social media as a job. But fast forward now, 2023, it's like a way of life now. It's like an actual option you can choose as a career. I got pretty lucky, right? Because like I started YouTube when I was really young. So by the time I was 16, it became my full-time job because brands were reaching out. I had a portfolio of videos because I've worked on it since I was nine. And like, if I listened to the haters and was like, yeah, like I'm not going to do YouTube because people say it's weird. I would not be where I am today. However, I've missed the boat on other things. I remember with crypto. Oh my God. Like I remember this story because it's painful. My dad was really into crypto in 2015, 2016. At the time, Bitcoin was like really, really cheap. Like I, I believe it was a couple hundred of dollars. And I remember my dad saying like, you should buy Bitcoin. You should just play around with cryptocurrency. And at the time I thought it was stupid. I literally went to a Bitcoin meetup though. So I didn't think it was that stupid. I probably just wasn't interested enough to buy Bitcoin. But of course, Bitcoin, even though crypto goes up and down and you can say what you want, but it has gone a lot higher than it was in 2015, 2016. And if I bought 50 bucks of Bitcoin, I could be in a lot of a different place. Whenever something stupid and people say you're crazy, it's probably going to be the next big thing. It happened to AI. It happened with gamers. It happened with OnlyFans creators. Like, trust me, guys, if people are saying it's stupid, you should probably do it. <laughs> I mean, unless it's like harmful, right? Like don't do shit that's obviously harmful and bad for you. But at the same time, the more polarizing I think an industry or subject is, the more chance it will have to succeed. And this is just what history says, all right? So we talked about being early, but one thing I haven't talked about is being early to platforms. Now, have you heard of TikTok ads? Have you? Have you? So I partnered up with TikTok for Business on this video to give you guys an exclusive little offer. So we've all heard about TikTok Ads Manager. You've probably seen it if you're scrolling on TikTok and you see like an ad or video that says sponsored, but you don't know what it came from or what it is. Well, if you're a brand, you can actually run TikTok ads and they're super simple using their TikTok Ads Manager platform. And it's 
personally for me a really effective tool for brands to use because there's less competition okay other platforms like facebook youtube they're a bit older platforms so they're going to have a lot more brands and users on their placing ads however tiktok is a really great opportunity for brands and startups to get your name out there okay and today on this video i have a little gift for you guys if you guys use my link below and spend a thousand dollars on your first month using tiktok ads i will be giving you guys a free coaching call i'll literally run your ads with you i might have another offer as well in the description box just click the description box because i'll be running different offers at different times i'm giving away a coaching call which normally is around like 500 dollars. so check it out in the link in my description box and if not have fun just check it out. Just use my link regardless. Even if you don't spend a thousand dollars, I'll be running different promotions. Just check the prescription box, okay? Okay, I love you. My third advice is nobody is an expert. This is something that literally took me forever to learn. Obviously, when you're young, like 16, 17, 18, you will feel imposter syndrome, especially if you're doing entrepreneurship where everyone's like triple your age. I learned that being young isn't necessarily a bad thing. And people that are older also don't necessarily know more than you. And like, even regardless of age, if you have a degree, you probably know more than me. But it doesn't mean you're not worthy of trying something, right? My lack of education really made me insecure here in the beginning because I felt like I couldn't go to conferences. I couldn't post YouTube videos because I wasn't an expert. I wasn't enough. But that is bullshit. There's always an expert higher than an expert. So it never ends, meaning nobody's fully the expert, right? Like everything's just based on perspective. So for example, you might not feel like you're enough to start a business or do the thing you want to do. But at the same time, Jeffrey Bezos might feel the same way. So we're all, even though we're different locations and income levels and different upbringings, we're also capable of doing what we want to do. All right, my fourth tip is the first year is going to suck. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I didn't want to post a video that was discouraging, but I think it's almost encouraging to know that the first year is going to suck. Cause like the worst thing you could possibly do, right? Is you do something, you're so stoked about it. You expect it to go great and then it doesn't. And then you're depressed because you were expecting it to be great. Everyone told you it was going to be great. And that's what happened to me when I was first doing my agency work. So I started my agency X8 and I was 16, 17. And I remember like people said it would be easy. You're going to be a millionaire, Jade, if you like started a social media agency. That didn't happen, okay? My millions did not come. <laughs> and I was like, obviously a little bit feeling like I was dumb because i was like oh like maybe i'm the problem but the truth is social media glamorizes entrepreneurship and it's just not the case your first year is gonna suck your first year you might not make any money you're most likely gonna lose money but no one talks about that like the biggest startups at least that i see in la lose money they are negative all right my fifth tip is find people as crazy as you i don't know if you can tell but i'm <laughs> I'm a little crazy. Just kidding. I'm not like crazy, but I think anyone who is an entrepreneur is a little delusional. Okay, that's a better word, okay? Have you guys watched the movie Oppenheimer? There's like this meme on TikTok where I saw like this guy who posted like, when my physics teacher says I have potential and it's like a meme of Oppenheimer like acting like a genius with, with the sun. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'll just put it here if you guys haven't seen. That's literally me. I am delusional. Like if I'm starting a business, I think I'm gonna be the next Mark Zuckerberg, right? Like <laughs> at least in the beginning when I'm young. And I think what was really discouraging was obviously getting faced with reality really early because you know your parents your friends might say hey jade you're not going to be mark zuckerberg's in a year that just might not happen and they mean probably the best but i find when you're first starting something you kind of have to lean into the delusion so i find that if you surround yourself with other entrepreneurs other like-minded people it's a lot easier and that's why i love this youtube channel right here the dharma nation which are you guys anyone who subscribed to this channel we're all a little crazy i want to encourage you guys that if you have a dream and even if you feel like it's unreachable you can do it i don't want to sound like a broken record and like a cheesy little monologue but i literally just competed in a Red Bull surf competition two days ago. I learned how to surf three years ago, okay? And before then, I didn't even know how to swim. I would drown in the open water. <laughs> and I just competed because I wanted to. I wa this is a dream of mine to surf and compete because I love, I love a good competition, okay? And your girl literally got second place in her heat. And I'm like so proud of myself because not just I placed, but because I even tried in the first place, I went up against people who were professionals, you know? So. It's just crazy. And I just wanted to share that story, not to brag, but just to show you guys that like literally pick something and like do it and surround yourself with people that believe in you or at least are as delusional as you. If you're so far enjoying this video, make sure you comment below Dharma Nation because I want to read every single comment of you guys. I'm here for you and comment below because that would make my day. I don't know why I said it like that. It would make my day. <laughs>
All right, my last and most important tip, I don't know if it's the most important, but something that I wish I knew is pivoting is okay. You might have an idea for a brand or product, but it might completely change in a year and that's okay. You might have to pivot five, 10, 15 times before you have your product market fit, which is basically in business where you like find a product that actually can sell, is profitable, something that you align with. That takes a while. Like for me, I'm everyday pivoting. I used to make more entrepreneurship, how to be a social media marketer videos, which I know you guys like, but to me, that wasn't the best fit for me because I don't necessarily want to be talking about about Instagram all day like I'm if you guys can't tell I love to surf I love to like be outside I don't want to be inside more than like two minutes I've pivoted my content to be more lifestyle more about surfing and if you guys look at my TikTok and Instagram which you should follow you can see that and I think it's okay to pivot your content pivot your brand pivot your interest because we grow as humans and if you stick to something and you don't like it that is literally insane like doing something over and over again and expecting a different outcome is insanity I think there was like this thing also like on social media where people are like pick a niche and Literally, it's so funny because like every time I do interviews, sometimes people ask me like, Jade, you're the girl who said don't pick a niche. And like, listen, that could be a whole other video. If you guys know on my channel, I had a whole debate about this niche freaking question. But anyways, my perspective still remains mostly the same. I believe you shouldn't pick a niche because in the beginning, you might have to pivot. And until you find your market fit, right, don't pick a niche. Once you find it, you can niche down. Like I have niched in surfing, but I don't know how we got here. I just wanted to say like, there's a lot of advice in the world to like pick something and stay with it. But I actually don't agree with that. I think you should be fluid like the water, change as you go and grow. I'm also in such a mood right now. I think I drank a little too much Red Bull and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Like I said in the beginning, check my link below if you want to launch TikTok ads with TikTok. I have a promotion running right now and I'd love for you to check it out. And it does support me if you do click the link. Um, so that would mean a lot. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.